Hey what is going on you guys, you are back here with Sub-Zero, as if I need an introduction am I right? Well maybe I do, but that is besides the point. How about I get straight to the point then? Well I just got into my Minecraft world and guess what I saw? I saw this great new elevator that they were promoting over at my local elevators elevators elevators. I mean I can already hear you complain about the fact that these elevator trips always work out for the worst. But let's just check this out, and you will see what I mean. Supposedly it is this big new elevator. I do not know exactly how it works yet, but soon young paid one. So basically I bought this elevator in Roblox like I always do. I mean you guys follow my videos right, then you would know that I do these elevator things every so often. But that does not matter right now. I basically bought this elevator and I transported it over into my Minecraft world. That way I can have an elevator in my Minecraft world. That does not sound that weird right? I mean it does not to me at least. This is just pure awesomeness if you ask me. This is the pinnacle of technology right here guys. But we still have to make it. So that is also very important. So we are going to be building an elevator because I am tired of using stairs. And I am pretty lazy. Now I am here from the comfort of my own little casa. And you know that me casa is to casa so you know. Make yourself at home. But today I am not just going to perfect my Spanish a little. No today I am going to be making some elevators and stuff and this is going to be like really cool because you know how much I love the elevators all day and all night because I hate stairs. And since it is day I am going to give it a go. I hope that I can actually create a pretty cool elevator right now because I have been thinking of building this thing for so long now that I am kind of getting greedy to get this thing done. I know that it may sound like really weird just because it is nothing but a darn track but since I am so much into this stuff I think that this is just the only thing that has been missing from my new homestead right here so i mean i guess that we can have it all right now but that would mean that everything would have to go right and i am sure that we can make that semi possible at least i think that this actually might become a pretty great secret spot right now oh my god are you kidding me I cannot even make my own stuff when I am still building it. That is not good sense I am still building it. So I might have to make this video just a little bit longer or I am going to have to get a lot better at doing these elevators because that might be the only viable option right here. But would you look at that. This is the place where I met that one noob. This is literally the spot where I learned someone how to Minecraft and I let him blow up that hill right there. It was a really cool video to do. So a little shameless self plug. So let me just recommend you to go watch that video if you wanna get right to the point of what has been happening around here. There has actually happened a lot of things around here now that I am getting to it right now. I mean since I moved to this place which was not too long ago because I first had a house a little bit further up the road. Not that there is a physical road but you get the metaphorical point at least I hope. But to be honest everything that has happened here since I have been here has been pretty good for me. But like I was saying just a second second ago, there have been a lot of things happening around here after I first came here. So I had a little casa a couple of miles to the north of here. But that got blown up after some noob sprung a booby trap that I had set up. So that was kind of my own fault I guess. But of course I am not here to confess to my own stupidity. But after all of that happened I decided to just move on and become a changed man. And I did actually become a changed man and life has been great ever since that happened and I am loving it. I helped out another noob and helped him become an actual professional Minecraft pro. And I had a video about circles, and if you have no idea what I am talking about, well then you should go watch that video as well. Let's just say that something happened to my Minecraft world and all of a sudden all of my beloved squared and cubes were just gone. So it was a really weird video, even for me. So I would highly recommend for you to go watch that video. Now that may not have anything to do with me building a new amazing elevator in my backyard. But then when you look at it from another angle, it kind of has everything to do with me building a train track in my own backyard because I am trying to get my life back on track, literally. Ha huh, that was a joke and a pun in once. Because we all know that I will probably never get my life together. But at least we have each other and we can do all of this together. So that is why I want to build this elevator in my own house right here. So that I can have all of the things that I love within a hand's reach. And that is kind of cool because that would mean that I do no longer have to go and travel from Roblox to Minecraft and of course from Minecraft to Roblox. But it was just insane to me that we have got all of this down right now.
out. And right now we can actually start to think about settling down and start taking it slow for a while. But I am still considering that fact. And it is nothing more than a consideration so do not start yelling at me because I will still be here for all of you to comfort you in sad times. Now let's test this bad boy right here and I am sure that this is going to be a lot of fun. Oh wait sub please do not fall. Sometimes I just forget that I am afraid of heights, and I should not be forgetting something like that. But as I was saying, since this is going to take a while, right now is not a sad time because this is actually looking pretty fly for a white guy. And what do you guys think about this right here? This looks pretty cool right? So right now I can actually have a cool view from the top of the house when I am doing my usual stuff. But of course this is just a little warm up for the elevator so that I can become even better when I can just practice whenever I want. So that is pretty cool if you ask me, and especially if you know the meaning behind all of this. Because right now I have pretty much put my new home place as a center point or a focal point of the racetrack. And that is because this new place is the beginning of something new. Something a lot better than what it used to be and that is a good thing whether you believe in it or not. I mean who would not be ready for all of this right? I know that I am pretty hyped for when I can start doing all of this and never have to worry about anything anymore. So I can just do whatever I want all day long. I mean I could be working all day, and I could be recording all day. Or maybe I could just be laying in my bed all day while I am watching my brand new super fat TV. And that would be cool too, because this is the new me. And I am loving it already. And you know what? Maybe I will be just laying in my bed all day and watching the 4K remaster of the awesome. And by awesome I mean really awesome. Cars 3. I mean who would not want to spend his or her whole day just laying in a bed while watching a Cars Trilogy 4K remaster. That is like watching something so cool. But then you are not just watching it. But you are watching it in 4K. Which makes it like 4000 times cooler than it already is. Actually it would make it like only twice as cool or four times as cool. I am not sure because math is pretty hard. So I am just tired of all this right now. It has been a while without any noobs around here and we are back to the old. Now I only just started this world and as you have already seen we have run into a little bit of a hiccup again. Now of course that is nothing new to us so I am just going to cut right to the chase and I am going to tell you what is going on. So I have got myself a new world today. I have restored all of it a little bit with some touch up work and now we at least do not have any homicidal maniac living in front of me, but of course we are getting plagued by some noob again and again and again. It is just the same old same old that we always had problems with and the problem is showing itself again and right now I am going to arm myself to the bone to make sure that no one will ever touch this house again. It will be pretty hard to do but once I have got it all put together it will be all worth it and I can go around looking for actual fun stuff to do instead of just moving all day and every day of my entire life because of the actions of people like that Steve Noob that just dropped by. So I am going to start with all of these tools that I handpicked for the specific job just back there. And I am going to be installing some pressure plates who will let me know that there is someone out here sneaking around and about. And if there is one thing that I do not like, then it will be getting caught in the back with my eyes looking the other way. Which would be pretty normal when someone is coming around from the back. But you know that is all just metaphoric speaking but these things will allow me to see that there is an intruder coming in hot because there will be a light that will start burning once someone has set foot on one of the pressure plates this is just one of the most ingenious ways to keep some out in like ever I mean that there is not much that actually could be going wrong but of course I will be taking the good with the bad in this equation and right now the pros outweigh the cons of building something like this. Especially when the cons are just the hard work and the payment stuff. So I think I am just going to be arming the whole perimeter of the house with high walls. So that I can only get up there by elevator. Like this so that I will always now where my enemies are coming from no matter what. And it is not like some meathead from the gym will be coming over or anything because a guy like those guys would just step on a trap and just take it off of their legs and respring it again for some other people who I have been missing because I lost my house in the very unfortunate thing that has happened to it. I mean there are a lot of things to blame for it. 
but I do not really think that me walking over it is any problem at all right now. But right now I will have to make some more of these elevators maybe one in the PALS craft series and then when I am done back there I will be holding angles with an AWP or I will be going impressive style and add a lot of things in to just make it look like I am doing something but am actually not doing anything except for a lot of things that no one really wants to see anyway. So with all of that said I am going to make some more things ready for the fortification of my house. Now this new elevator design while it will be a fort I can tell you that much, there will be no one standing in front of this house anymore for like ever. So without further ado I am going to build this thing like it was built to hold back the allies on Normandy, and even though that wall did not hold, that wall did actually hold, I mean it was a big day back then. But the only reason why the allies won the day, was because they had the Americans and the Canadians coming from the back. And right now I do not think that this little Steve Noob guy is coming in with a whole ordeal of paratroopers just to fool around with me and my new beautiful house that I built from scratch actually. So I am not going to be building a new one. I will be making sure that no one will ever be able to fool around with my house again and therefore I will have to do a lot of things to make sure that all of this is going to be bulletproof for once another noob comes back. And trust me on this one. They always end up coming back. So prepare yourselves because the winter is coming and I am sitting on the Iron Throne right about now. But I am telling you guys that all of this is just going to be perfect. And even though I am not specifically one of the best with redstone or actually anything that is too specific in Minecraft, I think that my traps will hold up against some noobs who know even less about this game than me. So they will probably not even notice that these things are pressure plates and that they could just as well be blown up by standing on them. But no I will not be that harsh, I will just put that light in there so that they will get distracted by the lights and they will probably not even think anything of it. So with all of that said I think that we might be able to just just go on to the next plan in my arsenal. And I am telling you guys that there is always another plan in my arsenal. So that is the only reason why I have not yet given up the fact that I want to live in the Minecraft world for the rest of my natural born life. I am going to be the one that knocks. I will be the danger and I will never be scared of one of those filthy noobs for the rest of my life and that is a promise I am going to be keeping for good. And now of course I do know that all of this might sound a little harsh to begin with but I just want you to start thinking back a little bit. Just make a little compilation in your head. Just a quick compilation of all of the times that some noob kid came into my Minecraft world and just messed all of my stuff up. And by that I do not even mean blowing up my house and all of that stuff. There has just been too much damage done to me and my houses throughout the last couple of weeks and I am just so done with it at this point that I am willing to do anything in my power to keep these little noobs away from my house so that I can live around this place in peace. And if you do not know why I come here, well then let me tell you why I come here in the first place. It is all about getting some peace of mind down here, in the countryside it is just me and the wind and the green grass. There is nothing but peace, but then once every while there will be this little poop head of a noob who thinks that he can just come up to my house and destroy the peace. Well this elevator will stop all of that forever. I am not sure how it will do that, but I will figure it out. I am fairly glad we are done with all of this redstone stuff. And that was no sarcasm at all this time around. Okay, please people. I am not even kidding right now. I actually feel like everyone just thinks that I am kidding right now but I am not. So if you would just want to leave me alone right now so that I can just get my stuff together again and make some more clickbait. Oh my never mind I just bamboozled myself by saying that. I am really stupid right now. But of course now I will have to come up with something new to talk about and I am running out of juice to keep me focused. And I do not mean juice literally I just mean that I am losing the mental power to go on with this elevator right now. But that is enough about me losing focus because that of course is all total nonsense because like I have told you guys around a million times already, I am not someone who loses. So I am not losing my focus I am just gaining more non-focus. I guess you would call it, so I am still winning but I am just winning something on the wrong side of the spectrum. That stuff sounds plausible right? I mean it should. So with that said I will just keep on dreaming about winning and since I am a winner and a dreamer that will put me in a vicious cycle of winning and I will not lose ever again. And of course when I am talking about losing you guys automatically start saying that I am not a loser and stuff and that I am like the best person in everything that you guys have ever seen. And I really do appreciate all of that. 
but sometimes you just need some reflection in life. Now even though it looks like I am losing all of this right now, in my head I am actually winning and that is what this video is all about. I mean this is an elevator video, and it has been weird as ever. But you cannot expect me to not make this a competition. That is pretty much just not how this works for me. And I feel like these elevators are the perfect place for that. Because they always just manage to make me feel some special kind of way and I think that that is awesome because there is really just nothing like that at all. And I am not even kidding right now. But with that said all of the fun is going to be over. And I will leave you with this. So goodbye guys and have a great day.